planting their flag in the richer red clay. I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Insider. While many sat up and took notice after the University of Evansville baseball team swept Bradley a week ago in Peoria, the Aces have grabbed the attention of the entire Missouri Valley Conference with their series win over league heavyweight Dallas Baptist, coming within one run of taking the brooms to the Patriots at Braun Stadium this past weekend. You want to uh, win every series at home because uh, it's tough on the road in the Valley, but uh, some unbelievable baseball play in the Missouri Valley Conference, and I think you know fans and people watching on ESPN and three really got a feel of what Missouri Valley Conference uh, baseball is all about. I think both uh, both teams did an unbelievable job of playing against the baseball and playing the game. Um, and, and boy, just uh, fun atmosphere, fun baseball. Uh, I'm really proud of our club. I'm really proud of our guys and our coaching staff for the way we played and uh, coached this weekend. It was awesome and just definitely really proud of our guys for how we played. The offense was the wheel horse of UE's success this weekend, especially in the late innings. And nowhere was that more evident than in Saturday's first game, when the opportunistic aces struck for eight runs on just three hits. I'm just proud of our, our hitters. I thought we had some real grinded out of bats once again um, to give us a chance, you know, and I'll take some of the great swings that we had there late in the games uh, from, from Nate Reeder, you know, and Craig Shepard, and, and some of our late swings just went right at them, you know. Uh, I'm just overall proud of our effort, winning two out of three against that quality of opponent. You know, it really shows to the grit that this team has um, and just the overall belief that we have in one another. Is that something that you guys talk about? Like, look, it's getting late. This is winning time. We really need to start to grind. Yeah, but we have that mentality from the first inning, from the start. So we definitely um, are focused and have confidence in ourselves and our teammates. So we go out there and try to get a job done. Another key was the Evansville bullpen, which came in in all three games to either seal victory or to hold off the potent Patriot lineup long enough for the Aces lineup to stage their late inning rallies. Bullpen was phenomenal. Uh, you pointed to the fact that they came in after Kroner got hit, uh, uh, nicked up, and they really kept you guys in the game. Yeah, if you look at everybody that came out of the pen for us today uh, in the 18 innings, you know, you had uh, Shane Gray in that first game coming by, and Nate Kroner was able to really come in and throw his breaking ball. Uh, and that's what you have to do to be effective out of the bullpen is to be able to throw your off speed over uh, for strikes, and that's what he, he did. And then we handed the ball off to Hollinger. Uh, but then just seeing Jay Hay, you know, just such a warrior type of performance from Justin Hayden, a senior, you know, coming in after Alex Wygand going five and a third, keeping us in the game and, and keeping us close to give us a chance. You know, we were one swing away uh, from sweeping a very quality opponent here uh, at Brown Stadium. It seems uh, as far as like the comeback, the rehab, where do you think you are right now? Uh, you know, I just I feel go with where I'm at. Um, I just try to come in and do the best I can to help the team win. But physically, I mean, I'm about as good as I can be. 75% is my new 100% now. But no, I feel good and I'm just trying to help the team win. And finally, the UE defense continued its season of redemption, committing just two errors while repeatedly turning in the big play. You guys are now in the top 15 in defense, and I know you take great pride in that stat. What is it about this defense? Because sometimes it's considered almost a forgotten art. Absolutely, and I think it starts with what we're doing on the pitching mound. You know, strike one, getting ahead of hitters. You know, it keeps everybody engaged. You know, we're, we're fighting for contact with, within the first three pitches, and I think um, just as a defensive player, uh, you're on your toes and you're ready for action. And I think that's really helped. Um, also, we're playing with a lot of confidence. Left side of the diamond is really catching everything right now, and Sam Troyer and, and Craig Shepard. I think they're doing an outstanding job um, of catching everything coming at them. So um, just really proud of our defensive effort uh, and pitching because that's always going to give you give yourselves a chance to win when those two things are clicking. Just the, honestly the belief and all the practice that we put in. Um, we definitely have the right guys out there so it's awesome to put, be behind our pitchers especially and uh, guys like Shep on defense that are making those plays. It's awesome to be around. When you're pitching back there, where is your confidence level with this defense right now? Well me personally, I'm not a strikeout pitcher. My job is to get weak contact and let the, the defense do the plays for me and and that's, that's what I do, and I have all the confidence in the world in each one of those guys that are out on the field for me. Now, with their series win over DBU, Evansville's RPI has skyrocketed to number 37 in the polls, a far cry from the dire predictions of preseason. The preseason had these guys as number one. They had you guys in last. And uh, to, to flip-flop it and take one, how huge is that? 
It is, and, and it's amazing what confidence does and the belief that our players have in playing the game right now. And just our approach to the game is outstanding. And if you look at it today, uh, with how we made them earn uh, their runs, and if they, you know, pounding out seven hits against Alex, and they had eight overall hits, uh, we made them earn their four runs. We didn't have uh, the walks, um, uh, the hit by pitches, or any freebies. You know, we only had one freebie in that game. And so, uh, really, our just overall approach to the game is outstanding. Um, and then, and late in the game, we had a chance to win that thing. And so. So uh, that's all you can ask for out of your uh, starting pitching, uh, your relief pitching, and uh, to give your offense a chance late in the game to win it. Well, I think predictions are a little overrated, you know. They don't know about the new guys we have coming in, stepping up to the plate and on the mound. So, I mean, but it feels good just to win a series. And obviously against a Valley opponent, it's always, always good to win a series. What do you take away from a series like this? Obviously getting the series win, following up after Bradley with that sweep, what do you guys take away from it? that we are honestly warriors like we can definitely do anything that we set our mind to uh, we have that inner belief in one another here and honestly the sky's the the limit and we know that whoever's at the plate or on the mound is going to get the job done they're going to pick each other up and we're just believing you know i mean obviously people predicted us last but like i said predictions are overrated and we believe in each other, and that's all that matters. Well, Meatloaf once saying two out of three ain't bad. Well, taking two of three from Dallas Baptist is better than ain't bad. Because even though their eight-game winning streak came to an end Saturday night against these Patriots, the University of Evansville baseball team is still in first place in the Missouri Valley Conference as the sun sets on weekend number two. They'll take on Austin P on Tuesday in a non-conference on the road in Clarksville and then it's back home at least for one game against Indiana. That is on Friday, and then we head up to Bloomington for three starting Saturday with a doubleheader. For the Aces Insider, I'm Joe Downs.